Hello everyone, my name is Linda and welcome back to my channel. In this really fun video, I'm going to be doing a 30 day yoga challenge and then sharing my experience. Was it worth it? Did I get what I wanted out of it? And what was it like doing 30 days of yoga after having not set foot on a yoga mat in years. All right, so let's start with the what and the why. First off, the what. So in terms of 30 day yoga programs, I chose to go with something that was literally a guided 30 day. Every day I knew exactly what I was doing and where to find it. I went with the Yoga by Adrienne 30 day program. It's her original one called Moo. It's 30 days. Every day is anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. I think some of the like more rest and recover ones were around that 12 minute range, but nothing was over 30 minutes. I knew exactly where I was going to figure out what I was doing that day. I knew approximately how long it was going to be and it guided you through it every step of the way. She has so many really great programs on her YouTube channel, so definitely go and check her out. Next, let's talk about the why. So I made the decision to cancel my gym membership because I wasn't using it. It was just so much work to get up in the morning. You're going to the gym, so you're going to be there at least an hour and a half by the time you like drive there, get your stuff in order, do your workout, pack up all your stuff and drive home. So you got to wake up. You have to eat something because I can't go that long without eating. It was just so much work. So I was looking for a program that was going to be very minimal. I don't need a lot of equipment. I don't need a lot of time. There was really no excuses by choosing to do a 30 day program. It was just extremely minimal to get started. Now, the other why, physically, why? Uh, first off, I carry a lot of my stress in my shoulders and my neck, so I was feeling like I was always tense and sore. Uh, not only that, but sitting at a desk all day, I was really feeling like my hips as well. Uh, a lot of tightness there. And let's be real, I couldn't touch my feet anymore. <laughs> I had been a gymnast years and years and years ago, so this idea of not being able to touch my feet was insane. I mean, let's be real. I could barely touch my shins. I was like touching my knees. It was that bad. So I realized that something that was gonna focus more on flexibility was gonna be tremendously valuable. Next, let's talk about the commitment. So I was committed to completing 30 days of yoga. Now, I knew right off the bat that with my crazy busy schedule, it was unlikely to be 30 consecutive days. But my goal was to finish 30 days as quickly as possible. I think at the end of it all, it might have been around 45 days. And I was very okay with that because I hold grace that my life can be a little bit crazy. So let's talk about how it went. Full disclosure, by about day four, I think I pulled a muscle in my ribs it was pure agony to sleep for at least a couple days. I don't know if just like past me that did yoga was like, I got this, no big deal. And I pushed it way too far, but I couldn't sleep on my side. I couldn't sleep on my front. I couldn't sleep on my back. It was something else. However, once I got through that, it was pretty great to see how quickly yoga can impact your health and fitness performance. I noticed within a week and a half that I was getting stronger with every single workout. The program starts out pretty easy and slowly gradually gets a little bit more consistent, 
but I noticed not just that I was feeling stronger, but a lot of the pains that I had in my hips and my shoulders started to go away. It became easier to get through the day without as much tension or headaches or soreness. And for that, I was incredibly grateful. Now, every single day is different. And there are probably days where I'm a little stiff now and can't touch my toes. That being said, I am no longer at my knees. I can get pretty darn close to my toes and some days touch them and some days touch the floor. So in terms of flexibility, I was amazed at how much of an improvement I noticed in 30 days alone. So let's talk about lastly what I discovered about myself because I think on the journey of yoga it's not just the workout because that is also great but it's a discovery of what you learn on the journey. So first off I do work out a whole lot better in the mornings which is surprising because going to the gym I would literally dread the entire process of having to get up to go to the gym. But when all I had to do was throw my gym clothes and walk down the hall to our meditation room, it was not that big of a deal. If I missed a morning, I was unlikely to get a workout in, in like midday or evening, just based on how my schedule is. So prioritizing the time in the morning was absolutely key for me. I also realized that 30 minutes is the top of what I'm able to put into it. I started to notice that by the end of a 30 minute workout, my brain started to think about all the things that I need to get done today. And I started to get antsy of like, okay, workout done, move on to the next step of my day. So two sided things on one side, that tells me that 30 minutes is a perfect place to start. On the other end, it also tells me that I need to either commit more time to myself in the morning or learn to relax and not rush into my day. On the same topic of 30 minutes being perfect, doing home workouts actually works for me. I know that that is not the case for everyone and for some people working out at home lacks the motivation that they need. But for me, it is proving to be far more convenient than going to the gym. On that note, however, I did learn that I need to have a guided meditation. If I am just set to my own devices, I'm going to do nothing. I learned this because on the last day of the program, it was kind of like a do your own thing session. Do whatever feels right for your body and that does not work for me. Um, so full disclosure, I didn't do the last day of the program I just flipped through one of her like one of the days I'd done in the week prior and just did that one for my last day because I need someone to tell me what to do with my workout so so many big takeaways at the end of the day I highly highly recommend that if you are looking for a simple guided workout and focusing around flexibility and natural strength is a priority for you, I 100% recommend that you take the challenge of a 30 day yoga program. I hope you guys enjoyed this 30 days of yoga journey with me and I hope that it inspires you to get started on your own fitness journey. I will see you in the next video. Namaste.